Now in 13 on your side, child abuse allegations at a local Marine Corps base. What happened in court today and what authorities say could be seen on camera. Yeah. Plus an El Centro man escapes a horrific fire. Find out how he was alerted while he slept with earplugs and his house burned around him. And it's the day of love. More on how Desert Southwest businesses prepared for the holiday. 13 on your side starts now. Good evening and happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you so much for choosing 13 on your side tonight. I'm Scott Gross. An update now on the child abuse that allegedly happened on base at Marine Corps Air Station Yuma. Two former employees of child care development pleaded not guilty today. 27-year-olds Valerie McKinstry and Catherine McCombs are facing a long list of felonies. Military officials say they learned about the alleged abuse in March of 2021 after reviewing surveillance camera footage inside the Child Development Center. MCAS then notified the Yuma Police Department we will stay on this case as it develops. An El Centro man is lucky to be alive after his home caught fire with him inside. The El Centro Fire Department responded to the blaze yesterday around 5 in the morning on Vine Street. Dana Bennett said she was at a woman's retreat in the mountains when she got a call from her husband that their house was on fire. She was surprised her husband survived because he sleeps with a ventilator and earplugs. Bennett says her husband smelled the smoke and was able to get out of the house that they've lived in for 56 years safely. We have lots of prayers, lots of very good neighbors <laughs> that put us up and let us stay in their front yard while we tried to decide what we were gonna do. Fire Chief Cedric Cecina with the El Centro Fire Department says the first engine was able to see fire and smoke coming from two blocks away. The fire was controlled within 20 minutes after firefighters arrived. There was a fatal crash on Aiton Road East and Forrester Road in Imperial County yesterday. A 2003 Honda was driving eastbound on Aiton at an unknown speed when the vehicle collided with a 2021 Dodge. The driver of the Honda was pronounced dead at the scene. The Dodge driver was not taken to the hospital and there's no reports of any injuries. And this accident comes seven months after Imperial County Sheriff Officer Anthony Rodondo fatally crashed near the same intersection last July. Impairment does not seem to be a factor in the accident and the crash is still under investigation. There was a lot of police activity near the Virginia Manor apartment complex in Yuma this past Friday. We have since learned a 16 year old boy from San Diego who was wanted on murder charges was taken into custody. The San Diego police tell us the 16 year old is accused of shooting and killing another teenager, 16 year old Cleo Woods. The shooting actually happened in September of last year, but again, Yuma police helped assist in the arrest on Friday. The suspect who has not been identified because he is a minor will soon be extradited from Yuma back to San Diego to face charges. Imperial Valley residents spend a lot of money during the summer trying to keep their homes cool and that's why the Imperial Irrigation District is coming up with a program to keep your electricity bill low next year. Our reporter Wiley Jahari reports from El Centro. We're getting a glimpse of summer with these warm temps, but Valley residents know that this is nothing compared to what's to come. They're also bracing for those high energy bills. Now the IID says those costs can go down in summer of 2023. The heat will be back before we know it. That's why the IID says it's working on the time of use program aimed at preserving energy during high energy consumption periods. So the idea is to try and limit that peak, lower it down by encouraging customers to use their appliances or reduce their power use as much as they feel comfortable, and then they'll be the beneficiary of significant savings. During the summer, air conditioners are on full throttle from noon until about 6 p.m., causing a strain on the grid. So what we're trying to do is encourage them to change the time that they you know, run their uh, clothes dryer or their dishwasher or maybe adjusting their thermostat or pre-cool their home. My bill did go up maybe because I do have my kids living with me. So what will residents do in order to save money? Before 3 p.m., after 9 p.m., and, and not consume so much energy during that tight window when energy is most expensive, That'll save the district money, therefore, and that cost savings will be passed on to the customer. 
Shuttler says if residents take advantage of the program, it could keep some extra money in their pockets. If approved by the board, the program will launch in 2023. The IID would be one of the last utility services in California to switch over to this program. Reporting in El Centro, I'm Wiley Jahari. Now a look, si a look outside. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you across the desert southwest. Still in the mid-60s throughout portions of our viewing area. Clear skies and, yeah, light winds for now. That's about to change here very, very shortly. Coming up in your first alert forecast, patchy blowing dust. And a wind advisory is what you can expect when you wake up tomorrow morning. We also have a fantastic viewer weather photo to share. It has something to do with Valentine's Day. All of this coming up, as I mentioned, a little bit later on. Love is in the air on this Valentine's Day, and local businesses are booming on what they say is one of the busiest holidays of the year. Americans are expected to spend $23.9 billion today. That's according to the National Retail Federation. The NRF says this would make 2022 the second highest year for Valentine's Day spending on record since 2004. Rosa Salazar, manager at Fortuna Flores, says she has over 100 orders for today. Salazar says Valentine's Day is the second busiest day of the year besides Mother's Day. It's very good for us. For Flores, it's very good because that's where we make our money and all of that. We have a lot of orders and we like to deliver. We like people to be happy, surprised when we deliver, so yeah. Customers are still able to purchase flowers throughout the day while supplies last. So you still have about two hours if you forgot. Mexicali flower shops have also reported an increase in sales this Valentine's Day with prices ranging from 20 bucks to $500. Now, although this is the most expensive season to buy flowers for sellers, they risk investing this year to take advantage of high sales. Flower sales have not been the same after the COVID pandemic. Now flowers are more expensive because there is a shortage of the product due to the lack of labor and that makes the product more expensive. But we try to have prices accessible to customers so that this day flowers are a good gift option to the customers. When a customer who comes from the United States wants to buy flowers, we always have several alternatives for them to bring the flowers that are allowed to enter in the United States. Flower shops in Mexicali also agree this is the busiest holiday for them aside from Mother's Day. The Parks and Recreation Department is currently working on a one-mile trail expansion at West Wetland Park. Extending the West Wetlands Trail will make an even longer path for anyone who chooses to use it. Yuma is known for having an amazing trail network. By building and developing this extension, an individual will now be able to go from the west side of the West Wetlands all the way to the Pacific Avenue Athletic Complex, which is an amazing trail system that will connect the entire Colorado River. The trail is still open for locals to use, but the expansion won't be complete for about another two months. A memorial at MCAS Yuma now has a new address. I'm Arlette Youssef and I have more details on why this honor is so important to all who have served. Plus, the Women's Expo is later this month. How to get your business involved and the date to circle on your calendar when we return. This is a commercial. The airbags are padded. And these are actors. The broken glass is really made out of rubber. Even the wrecks were carefully staged and no one got hurt. So why show this? Because real car wrecks shatter lives. And unless you've been in one, this is the closest you'll ever come to understanding how one instant can change your life forever. If you've been seriously hurt, get the help you need now. Call the Smith Filer Law Firm today, 783-8811. It seems like everything is going up in price except at Imperial Valley Auto. We're fighting inflation with our giant used car anti-inflation sale. We're rolling back prices on every used car in stock. Over 600 to choose from at all discounted below Kelly Blue Book suggested retail price. Going on now through February 28th. One of SoCal's largest pre-owned inventories with every car deeply discounted for the price rollback event. Great selection, great prices, and great people. Experience the difference at the Imperial Valley Auto giant used car anti-inflation sale. Going on now for a limited time. The Oak Tree and More is going out of business after 38 years. We're closing our doors forever. 
everything must go. All our massive inventory of famous brand name furniture. Wall to wall savings, colossal discount prices, and price cuts in every department. Hurry, hurry, hurry. First come basis and when it's gone, it's gone. The Oak Tree and more going on a business sale. Don't miss it. Bring your truck and trailer down to 3030 South Pacific Avenue in Yuma. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home, their education, their future. You need life insurance. And chances are, SelectQuote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And SelectQuote found his wife Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At SelectQuote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. We found Gary, 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 1-800-260-6735. That's 1-800-260-6735. At a price you can afford. Select quote. We shop, you save. Thirteen on your side starts now. Welcome back. I'm Scott Cross. A memorial stood at the entrance of the Marine Corps Air Station Yuma since 1965 in honor of Marines and sailors past and present. Now the memorial has a new home. 13 on your sides, Arlette Youssef has the story. The Iwo Jima Memorial represents the thankless job our men and women in uniform do every single day to protect and serve our country. A famous photograph taken at Iwo Jima on February 23, 1945, is the inspiration of this memorial. Photographer Joe Rosenthal won a Pulitzer Prize for capturing this moment in our nation's history. The original Yuma Memorial, although beautiful, was touched up over the years, but the wear and tear still showed. To do something like this, to actually make it happen, is uh, personal, it's heartfelt, and uh, for the community at large, I'm not alone. Uh, it's a big deal, particularly out in the community, because this is one way to say thank you. The Navy League of the United States Yuma Council helped make the new memorial possible by proposing the new design and new location of the memorial in 2019. Both were approved. The work began last May and was completed just last month. So I think something like this is really a, a symbol of our community here and our presence in Yuma. You know, it really shows how welcome we are and, and how the community really supports us that something like this would even happen. The location of the initial memorial posed a risk to the base as it created a blind spot for the security at the front gate. The Iwo Jima silhouette is a perfect example of the icing on the cake. Uh, that was done even during COVID times. The opposite side of the memorial wall, which is in front of the MCAS Yuma headquarters office, includes benches from different branches of the military, another way to extend gratitude and honor for those who serve. Active duty military and retired veterans now have a place to sit and reflect on their service and the endless bond of brothers and sisters in arms. Reporting in Yuma, Arlette Youssef, 13 on your side. The Women's Expo is fast approaching and there are still a few spots available for your business. The annual event brings a variety of services and puts them under one roof. The event is hosted each year by the American Business Women's Association. And we spoke to Women's Expo Chair Mary Ellerman who tells us what you can get out of taking part in this event. It's an opportunity for local businesses, local people that are doing things in the community to share with our local people what they are doing, whether it's making things, services, information, financial. Ellerman tells us even though the name says Women's Expo, this event is open to everyone. The Women's Expo is set for Saturday, February 26th from 8 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon at the Yuma Civic Center. For more details on how to become a vendor, and more things on the event itself, visit our homepage, kyma.com. Another look outside. Calm breezes for now, clear skies, 
But that's all about to change. I'll explain straight ahead in your first alert forecast. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com. You can't believe everything you hear. Like George Washington never chopped down that old cherry tree. But you can believe in big savings during the President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out special purchases while they last. Plus, seven years no interest financing. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices, guaranteed. The President's Day Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. Midnight at the Oasis. Hundreds of free 1972 classic cars are on display March 4th through the 6th. Plenty of food, drinks, and live entertainment all weekend long. Plus, raffle tickets for your chance to win your very own classic car. A 1955 Oldsmobile 98. The Caballero de Yuma Classic Car Show Midnight at the Oasis. March 4th through the 6th. Get your tickets now and all the information you need at midnightattheoasis.net. In local news, the biggest thing is that we have no bias. We don't have someone telling us what to do. We have journalism guiding us in what we're doing. And if one day we don't have the answers, for sure we're gonna have the answers two days later or the next night. Like always staying informed and, and watching us and making sure that you know you're staying informed locally here is important to get the full story and get the full scoop because we're gonna do that job for you. We're gonna keep you informed and make sure we're following those stories. Very good Monday evening to all of you across the desert southwest. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you, and thank you so much for choosing 13 on your side. You're seeing a look outside right now in the RV world of U.S. Skycam. There we go. You know, we've got clear skies out there, breezy conditions. Breezy conditions are going to turn. Yeah, they're going to morph into something uh, called gusty winds as we get into tomorrow. Yeah, we can see right now we have those calm winds. You're looking at downtown Yuma. That is 4th Avenue South. Clear skies. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar show you exactly what we have. We're going to stay that way. We do have some cloud cover moving its way in now to the north, especially in Imperial County, but for the most part, the rest of the counties clear, and that will remain into to morning. And again, you will see some cloud cover here and there throughout tonight. Our future wind scale. This is where it's going to start getting exciting. Around 9 a.m., look at the gusty winds blowing through from San Diego County into Imperial County and uh, encompassing Yuma County with that as well. That will bring with it tomorrow morning a wind advisory, which is going to go into effect around 10 o'clock. That'll be mountain time, 9 o'clock for those of you in Pacific time. That'll last until 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. For those of us in Yuma County, that'll be 7 o'clock for those of you in Imperial County. Jumping ahead and take a look at our air quality index brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Moderate throughout much of Imperial Valley. Good still standing in Nyland. It's clinging to that unhealthy right now in Mexicali. A look at our temperatures. We will stay in Imperial County. 60 in Imperial, 64 El Centro, 64 in Holtville, 61 in Palo Verde and across the county and state line into Yuma County, Arizona. The Gila Valley, we're at 60 degrees in Yuma, 64 YPG and 63 in the Fortuna foothills. Take a look at our viewer photo of the day today. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Christine Kemp was engaged a couple weeks ago. She said yes. On her way home, she saw this, a heart in the sky, and she captured it. And I just had to save it for today, this Valentine's Day. Christine, thank you so much for sharing your heart 
in the sky. And if you have a photo you'd like to share, there's a couple ways you can do it. One, scan that QR code. It'll take you right to the Weather Photo Gallery from there. Upload your photo, include your name and a slight description, or you can find me on social media or drop it off like Christine did on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Again, we're going to be really gusty. We're going to take a look at our Metrocast tonight. Midnight, 58 degrees as you wake up tomorrow, 49 at 6 a.m. And then at high noon, mostly sunny, 72. We're going to warm up from there. Our average for this time of year is 76. We'll be just above that. But again, the wind advisory in effect tomorrow. Blowing dust, patchy blowing sand as well. Breezy to gusty throughout the rest of the week. A lot of sunshine. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. A gusty day tomorrow. Still sunny. Uh, we'll sink down below our average on Wednesday and Thursday, but then get back into 80 by the weekend. Next on 13 on your side, the 15th ranked Arizona Western Lady Matadors look to extend their winning streak to 22 games. I'll tell you if they added yet another win into the win column straight ahead in sports. At Nationwide Vision, for a limited time, get 50% off a complete pair of eyeglasses. That's great style at 50% off. Taking care of Arizona's eyes for 35 years. Nationwide Vision. Everybody has a flashlight, but can your flashlight do this? The Bell & Howell Tactical Flashlight can. The Bell & Howell Tac Light can do things no ordinary flashlight can do. Look, this civilian flashlight puts out pathetic light, but our military-grade Tac Light, that's 22 times as bright. It's so bright, it can be seen up to two nautical miles away. Only a Tac Light has a super bright strobe that can stun and disorient would-be attackers. A car battery will stop working in sub-zero temperatures, but even getting frozen in a block of ice couldn't make our tack light stop working. It's tough enough to survive getting run over by a Humvee. Try that with a regular flashlight. You can get a Bell & Howell tack light complete with a lifetime guarantee for just $19.99 plus free shipping. And while supplies last, you can even get a second one. Just pay a separate fee. To order call 1-800-369-0338. That's 1-800-369-0338 or go to trytacklight.com. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell & Howell. We call them tack glasses. Inspired by the sunglasses worn by our heroes in uniform, tack glasses block blinding glares so well, invisible objects suddenly become visible. Enhance colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's and survive even the harshest conditions. Look, ordinary sunglasses just make things darker, which could be deadly in a tactical situation. Tack glasses improve optical clarity so you can see clearly even in low light. If you've never seen how this light filtering technology works, check this out. Nothing to see, right? But look again as we hold up our tack glasses. A colorful American Eagle is revealed. Amazing. Act now to get your tack glasses for just $19.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. So don't delay. Order yours today. To order, call 1-800-287-1705. Again, that's 1-800-287-1705 or order online at tritacglasses.com. Your world is created by what you focus on. It's never too late to adjust your view. Right now at Nationwide Vision, when you buy one pair of eyeglasses, you will receive a second pair 50% off, taking care of Arizona's eyes for 35 years. Nationwide Vision. Los Angeles is temporarily changing its iconic Hollywood sign in celebration of the Rams' Super Bowl victory last night over the Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. The Rams came from behind to win 23-20 thanks to wide receiver Cooper Cup's one-yard touchdown catch late in the fourth quarter. Today, he talked about being named the game's MVP. Dina Demetrius has the latest from Los Angeles. Stafford. Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup may be this year's Super Bowl MVP, but he says LA's 23 to 20 come from behind victory over the Cincinnati Bengals was a team effort. And that was a, a huge thing coming into this. Is you know so many guys just said, hey, we we've got guys here that deserve a Super Bowl. We got to win this for them. And um, you know, Coach touched on just how guys play for each other, and uh, that makes uh, that's what kind of makes this team so special. The Rams star wide receiver connected with quarterback Matthew Stafford on four receptions for 39 yards on the championship drive. In a pressure situation, I don't know if I have ever seen anybody be better 
than Matthew Stafford and Cooper 36 Cup. year old Sean McVay became the youngest head coach to win a Super Bowl. He gave credit to the team's defense, led by Aaron Donald, who pressured Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow on fourth down in the final moments of the game. You've got to give those guys a lot of credit. To be able to get seven sacks was instrumental for us winning that game. The last time the Rams won the Super Bowl was 22 years ago when they were in St. Louis. This time they got to do it in SoFi Stadium, becoming the second team to win on their home field. It's what the city demands. And, uh, you know, to be able to bring that home, first, first year opening up SoFi with fans, uh, being able to win it at home in SoFi, uh, there's just, I don't know if you could have written any better. The city is temporarily changing its iconic Hollywood sign this week to read Ram's House in honor of the victory. Dina Demetrius, CBS News, Los Angeles. Next year's Super Bowl will be held in Arizona. And staying in Arizona, the 15th ranked Arizona Western Lady Matadors look to make it 22 wins in a row to the house on the AWC campus where Tasha Washington and the Scottsdale Fighting Artichokes looking to invite a season sweep against Patrick Cunningham's Lady Western Matadors, early first half, Arizona Western up six. Misa Gilberto down low finds Christiana Bryan, who cashes in with the short jumper. Lady Matt started an 8 0 run moments later. Haley Payne with the head bob and the drive gets Scott still on the board. Arizona Western showing no love tonight as Faith Silva launches from the top of the key. The shot is off the mark. Misa Gilberto with the board, the spin, and the bucket. I like it, I like it a lot. Next. Crystal Asen on the baseline shovels to Brian, who connects with the short fadeaway. Arizona Western now by 10. More Lady Matadors. Teresa De Silva, alone in the near corner, makes a splash from three point land. Arizona Western rolls at home to an 85 38 win. It's their 22nd win in a row. Lady Matadors are now 26 and 1 on the season. To the snake pit on Saturday for the boys' soccer opening round of Class 6A playoffs. 12 seeded Westwood against the, yeah, Jesus Rojas led San Luis Sidewinders in the game's third minute. Westwood with the throw in and off the header. Senior Max Perez with the centering pass of John Bernal. In front of the net, San Luis's Alejandro Pena just gets a piece of the ball to make the incredible save. In the fifth minute, San Luis on the attack off the Erquierte header. Luis Palmeneses cranks a shot on goal. Senior Eduardo Noriega is there for the rebound to give San Luis the early 1-0 lead. To the 19th minute, Meneses with it again, getting a touch pass to senior striker David Murillo. Murillo puts on the brakes right here, then fires this gorgeous shot to the back of the net. San Luis takes a 2-0 lead. San Luis has no trouble with Westwood taking down the Warriors 9-1. The Sidewinders will play number 6, Hamilton in San Luis tomorrow. And I'll be there. Join me as I'll be back on the road once again, this time at the Snake Pit in San Luis for a AIA State Class 6A quarterfinal between the Hamilton Huskies and San Luis Sidewinders live during our 6 o'clock broadcast with game day weather and score updates and an interview with San Luis Athletic Director David Barrios on the road live from San Luis during our 6 p.m. show tomorrow. That's all the time we have for sports. Straight ahead, find out why Valentine's Day is not only a day of love, but also a day celebrated for saving lives. Don't get stuck with internet and TV that costs more and does less. Set yourself free with Spectrum and get it all from one provider. Get Spectrum Internet with enough speed for all your devices all at once with speeds of 100 megabits. Whoa, that's fast. Plus, get a free modem and free desktop security to keep you safe online. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month. Call 833-605-4999. And don't get stuck with the same old TV. Multiply your screens. Spectrum TV with a free Spectrum TV app lets you watch here, there, and everywhere. Stream live TV, sports, news, and more on any device. Plus, access up to 85,000 on-demand titles. Get Spectrum TV from $49.99 a month. Call 833-605-4999. Don't get stuck paying more for less. Pick and choose the services you need. Spectrum Internet or TV. Or get them both for $49.99 a month each. All with no contracts. Call 833-605-4999. The bladder control aisle. You won't shop here again. Your private business is your own. The constant struggle is over. Now there's a better way. It's HDIS. We home deliver bladder control products. We understand how you feel. 
for over 25 years, we've home delivered to many of the 20 million Americans who deal with incontinence. We offer all brands. We pay shipping and use plain, unmarked boxes. If we can help you or someone you care for, call for your free product sample pack and $45 in money-saving coupons. Our counselors will help you choose the right product. And unlike stores, we're always in stock. You'll get what you need. Satisfaction guaranteed. HDIS, the better way. For your free sample pack with your free catalog, $45 in money-saving coupons and free product samples, call 1-800-489-3026. That's 1-800-489-3026. Breaking news first. Extreme weather first. Border issues first. Agriculture first. Exclusive stories first. If it affects you, your family, your wallet, or your health. 13 on your side. First at four. Join Mercedes Martinez. 13 on your side. It's all first at 4 p.m. Welcome to 13 on your side. Before we go tonight on Valentine's Day, we celebrate love. But for some, it's actually a day to celebrate life. That's because February 14th is also National Donor Day, honoring those who have given life-saving organ donations. Christine Eisenfeld's late husband, Scott, made the decision to become an organ donor. Scott died eight years ago in a sudden bike accident. Scott suffered a heart attack at a stop sign. His heart valve donation would go on to save the life of a four-year-old boy. Donate Life Arizona says just over half of Arizonans on their license are organ donors, and each donation makes a big impact. One donor can save the lives of eight people through organ donation, heal 75 more through tissue donation, and restore sight for up to two more people through cornea donations. In 2021, 315 Arizona organ donors saved 790 lives. Donate Life says it only takes 38 seconds to sign up for the organ donor registry, so you can do it at donatelife.com. Net. We've got some serious uh, weather changes coming our way. Right now, clear skies, calm breezes for the most part. Yeah, I really want to show you what's going to be happening tomorrow. This is our future wind scale. And take a look uh, what's going to be happening tomorrow morning when you wake up. Gusty winds, it'll start in western Imperial County, encompass most of the county, and into Yuma County. That is going to bring with it a wind advisory. That wind advisory is going in place tomorrow morning. That will be at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. for those of you Pacific Time. And this will last until 8 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Make that tomorrow night. 7 o'clock uh, for those of you Pacific Time. Again, a wind advisory going into effect tomorrow morning. Winds anywhere between 25 to 45 miles per hour. And it will last most of the day. Jumping ahead, let's take a look at our temperatures right now. 60 degrees in Imperial, 64 degrees in El Centro, 64 in Holtville, 61 currently in Palo Verde. And as we cross over the county and state line once again for a look at your temperatures tonight, we're sitting at 60 degrees in Yuma, 64 in YPG, 63 in the foothills, and 58 along uh, Interstate 8 going east, 58 in Welton, Tacna, and Dateland. Let's take a look right now at the seven day forecast. Again, the blowing dust, the winds tomorrow, the wind advisory. Can't say this enough at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, mountain time, nine o'clock for those of you in California, gusty winds anywhere between 25 and 45 miles per hour. We're going to be above our average temperature tomorrow. Our average for this time of year is 76 degrees. We'll be around 78 sunny skies. We're going to cool down though Wednesday and Thursday will remain breezy with some gusty winds throughout the rest of the week as we make our way into the weekend. We'll start to see 80 degree temperatures once again. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. Again, the gusty winds, 25 to 45 miles per hour, could reach over 50 at times throughout western Imperial County for the most part. 74 the next couple of days, sunny but breezy. Again, we will work our way into the weekend, getting back into the 80s. And that is our newscast for the hour. Remember, we're always on and always online at KYMA.com. Have a great night. Stay safe. I'm Scott Gross. Stephen Colbert is next.